Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for coming this morning in this fine summer day, 80 degrees and sunshine. Please allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bill Hack. Some of you might know me from the American Heroes Cafe. Today I'm here as the newly elected president of Chapter 101 of the Vietnam Veterans of Wisconsin, of, of America, excuse me, Chapter 101. All our members, as well as other area veterans organizations assembled here today, welcome you to our 2019 Memorial Day ceremony. It is my privilege now to call upon Pastor Dan DeRoshi from Crossview Church to deliver the innovation. I will ask you to please rise and remain standing after the innovation. Thank you. Today we are here to honor those who have served our country and given their lives that we may stand here today in freedom. We need to be constantly reminded of our gift of freedom and of those who pay the ultimate price to make sure that future generations know life in a free society. The Holy Scriptures say there is no love greater than this, than one who lays down their life for another. Please bow your heads with me as I pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you this day and acknowledge your presence among us. We are here to honor those faithful men and women who have laid down their lives in the service of our blessed nation. Help us to honor them rightly today. We pray for their family members who grieve the loss of their loved ones. Give them comfort, give them peace, and allow them to know we stand with them today in their loss. As we begin this service, allow our hearts to be respectful, to honor the fallen, not just by this ceremony, but by the way we live our lives in the freedom they paid for. May your presence guide us this service in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Dan, for being with us this morning and also for your continued support of area veterans by allowing the use of your church for the Heroes Cafe. It is now my privilege to call upon the young ladies from Girl Scout Troop 6089 who will sing our national anthem. These girls are under the leadership of Troop Leader Cameron Wettern, who is also a military veteran. The, the Scouts have in the past demonstrated their support of active military personnel and area veterans by sending Girl Scout cookies to the active servicemen and donating cookies to area veterans. And for that we say thank you. Please join them as they, as they sing our country's anthem and I invite all veterans here today, whether in uniform or not, to render a military salute during this time. Thank you. Bob Holtz, a member of VVA Chapter 101, will now call the command for the color guard. Color guard, Ted Hutt, present arm. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars girls. Now we call upon the members of Cub Scout Pack 110 led by Den Leader Brian Dean to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. We all should know that Cub Scouting is a family oriented program that instills values such as citizenship, teamwork, honesty, respect, responsibility, and fitness all while having fun. 
PAC 110 has demonstrated these values by recently hosting a dinner for area veterans, Gold Star parents, and widows of veterans. So on behalf of everyone here, thank you boys and leaders for your community support. Now please join in as they recite the Pledge of Allegiance. to ask everybody to place your hand over your heart. Those in uniform, if you'd like to salute with us, please join. Cub Scout salute. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. God bless America. Two. Order. Oh. Go. Yes. Audience, you may be, please be seated. Well, here it is Memorial Day. We all thought, especially after a not so pleasant April and May, that this day would never arrive, and I'm still in doubt that it's ever going to arrive. Summer is going to be one day this year. But now we can look forward to lawn mowing, weeding gardens, boat rides and on our area rivers and lakes, as well as enjoying friendly conversation around a campfire. Life in Wisconsin is never boring. But before we head out to the lake or golf course, it is important for us to take the time to remember those who gave their life in order for us to enjoy these privileges. And that is why we are gathered here today. Today's guest speaker is Wood County Sheriff Sean Becker. Sean was elected to be our sheriff last November and before that he spent 20 years in law enforcement serving as a patrolman and a patrol captain. As sheriff he has pledged to meet the challenge that our county faces by confronting the issues of drug, drug epidemic, mental health, and overall safety of the people of Wood County. We wish him the best in this new endeavor and we welcome him to our podium this morning. Sean? Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here. Uh, one person I want to recognize would be Ellen Sox. Thank you, Owen, for the support and friendship and the help with uh, my speech. This is uh, truly an honor for me, and I must admit that I'm somewhat humbled to be uh, given the opportunity to be your guest speaker here this morning. Again, thank you, Bill, for the invitation. <clears throat> I'll own up and acknowledge that I never served in the military, but I deeply admired my grandfather, Howard Pyler, who served in Korea, as well as my uncle, William Pyler Sr., who served in Vietnam, and my cousin, William Pyler Jr., who earned a Bronze Star while serving in Iraq. Like some veterans, my grandfather and uncle, who both saw combat, didn't want to talk about their experiences. But they, along with our family, were very proud of their service to our country. And I look into the crowd this morning, and I see many familiar faces of veterans who I come to know and respect. And with that, I say thank you. Thank you for your service. But we should thank the, uh, veterans every day. On this day, we should remember what Memorial Day is all about. And that is to remember those who gave the ultimate sacrifice so we may enjoy the freedom and privileges that we benefit from today. <clears throat> Shortly after the Civil War, Memorial, Memorial Day began as Decoration Day. The reason for that is because it was a day on which Americans, both in the South and in the North, would decorate graves for soldiers who died in the Civil War. General John A. Logan, who headed up a group of Union veterans, declared in 1868 that Decoration Day would be observed on May 30th. According to some Memorial Day history from the Department of Veterans Affairs, after World War I, the holiday was broadened to include service members who died in all the country's wars, not just the Civil War. Multiple cities claimed to be the birthplace of the holiday, but President Lyndon Johnson 
formally gave the honor to Waterloo, New York in 1966. Enacting Congress in 1971 switched the observance to the last Monday in May, and here we are in Wisconsin Rapids celebrating it today. As I began to think about what I was going to speak about today and realized that I didn't have any war stories or experiences to share, it got me thinking and it came to me. I realized how much the members of my chosen profession and those who served in the military have in common. Both groups have a desire to help people. Military personnel, uh, I'm sorry, military uh, personnel protect our country now and have done so in their past just as law enforcement officers take the pride in protecting our community in the present. The same values apply to both groups. It takes discipline, punctuality, responsibility, the ability to make quick decisions in an instant and then commit to those decisions. They both have to learn to understand the concept of teamwork and they both share a brotherhood with their comrades, whether it's within a platoon or a police squad room. With that being said, I can proudly say that we have had many or have many veterans that work at the Wood County Sheriff's Department. Each day as I enter the courthouse, I walk past the Wood County Veterans Memorial. I am reminded of those Wood County citizens who gave the ultimate sacrifice in their service to their country. And there's one in particular that comes to mind. On Christmas Day in 2011, Army Staff Sergeant Joseph Altman from Marshfield, Wisconsin, was killed during an insurgent attack in Afghanistan. Joseph was 27 years old and, a service, and served as a medic with the 2nd Battalion, 27th Inf Infantry out of Schofield Barracks, Hawaii. He had two previous tours of duty in Iraq and was due to return to his current, he was, to, he was due to return from his current tour in February or March. He was known by his family and friends as Joe and his army comrades referred to him as Doc. At that time, I was a lieutenant in the sheriff's department, and I remember when Deputy Sam Clum, who was a close friend of Joe's, called me and asked me if he could take some time off in order to escort Joe's remains back from Wausau with his Wood County squad. While talking to Sam, I learned that he had been a friend of Joe's since kindergarten, and that Joe was a person of integrity and honesty. I will never forget that day, and it was then that I understood what Memorial Day meant. This year, Memorial Day takes a special meaning for me. Today, I must recognize Sergeant David Matthews. David spent over 25 years of his life serving the citizens of Wood County while working at the Wood County Sheriff's Department. He was a Marine who served in Vietnam. Dave passed away recently due to the effects of Agent Orange. I consider myself fortunate to know and work with Dave. When I started my career, I looked up to Dave and sought his advice while we shared a squad car. Being a young deputy at the time, he guided me, and that guidance impacted me throughout my career. I will be forever grateful to Dave Matthews. Today, there are many ways you and your family can incorporate the true meaning of the holiday in your Memorial Day celebration. We still enjoy the day with each other, so the next time you pass by the courthouse, Think about the 445 Wood County citizens dating back to the Civil War that have lost their lives serving our country. It's about their families that were left behind. Remember, remind your children what this memorial stands for. I appreciate the opportunity I've been able to share my thoughts with you today. So that I say thank you to those who have served. Thank you that, that those who are currently serving and a special thank you to those who made the ultimate sacrifice and thank you to their families who live with their loss every day. Let us keep them memory in Memorial Day. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Before we uh, go to the laying of the wreath, I'd, I'd like to recognize the veterans groups that are here today. Wisconsin Rapids VFW Post 2534, American Legion Post 9, American Legion Post 442, DAV Chapter 55, Military Order of the Purple Heart, American Legion Post 485 from Rudolph, American Legion Riders in District 8, and our Vietnam Veterans of America Central Wisconsin Chapter 101. Thank you for participating.
It is now time for the traditional laying of the wreath that we do every Memorial Day. So I'd like to now ask Sarah Parsons to please come forward. Today Sarah is accompanied by her son Peter and his wife Sue. Sarah, Sarah Parsons is a veteran of World War II and recently celebrated her 100th birthday. In 1942, with her husband away with the Army Reserve, she read a newspaper article about the creation of the Women's Auxiliary, Army Auxiliary Corps. Sarah was one of the first to join and immediately realized she did not want to remain a private. She attended officer training and served in a position that put her in charge of harbor defenses along the east coast of, the, of America. She left the Army after the war as a captain and started to write, penning books about her life, including first whack about her army days. Please rise and continue to stand until the conclusion of the ceremony. Thank you. Thank you, Sarah. You'd all like to have the 21 gun salute? On behalf of Chapter 101 of the Vietnam Veterans of America, please accept our thanks for attending this Memorial Day ceremony. You're cordially invited to American Legion Post 9 Brat Fry, which will be held at their post on Love, Love Street with inside seating, so you don't have to sit out here. Please join us for lunch and fellowship. We hope to see you at the Heroes Cafe, which is held every Wednesday morning at Crossview Church here in Wisconsin Rapids. Before Pastor DeRoche gives the benediction, I would also like to thank Ellen Sox. She wrote my speech as well. Pastor DeRoche. Please bow your heads with me as I pray. 
Lord our God, today as we gathered, remembered, and honored these lives, we give recognition to the spirit that made our country great, a willingness to give totally of ourselves even unto death. We thank you for these who have lived and died in the service to this nation. We thank you for the blessing of being part of a country like this, and we give you thanks. And we ask, God, that you will bless us and keep us. You'll make your face shine upon us, be gracious to us, and, Lord, turn your face toward us and give us peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dan. Color guard. Point our attention. Oh. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.